Hello guys, uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, today's topic is a clear cold virus, uh, which is also known as adenovirus 14. Now, adenovirus 14, uh, also known as uh, AD14, uh, is termed the killer cold virus because of the high incidence of hospitalization and deaths uh, attributed to the um, viral strain, you know. And AD14 viruses are passed person to person or picked up from items touched by the infected persons and then initially invaded cells in the eyes, nose, mouth, and they subsequently uh, allow the further spread to other body organs, you know. Now, the symptoms and the signs uh, resemble those of cold, like uh, cough, runny nose, and mild fever uh, for about three to five days. And the majority of the people clear the disease, but up to 40% may need hospitalization where the severe symptoms develop like pneumonia and shortness of breath and uh, other organ related symptoms may develop such as eyes, bladder and uh, uh, gastrointestinal problems, you know. Now, uh, this virus is contagious and is transmitted uh, person to person by touching and the contaminated surface. You know. Incubation period averages about five to eight days, uh, but the contagious period can last for weeks to months. You know, and the risk factors include uh, crowded living conditions, uh, contact with an infected individual, and uh, immunosuppression. So these are the risk factors. Now, AD14 is uh, uh, presumptively diagnosed by history, physical examination. X-rays and and in association with the other AD14 diagnosed patients in the community, and uh, definite diagnosis is uh, completed with the isolation of the virus from the patient, uh, and uh, uh, a rising titer of antibodies against the AD14 and uh, immunofluorescence of, of AD14 virus particular, and uh, that uh, uh, virus. Uh, uh, particles in the tissues are uh, the fluids and the PCR tests, you know. So these are the tests which are used to confirm the diagnosis. Now, no one's diagnosed, then the treatments are mainly sportive and symptomatic, you know. And the antivirals uh, have been used by some clinicians, but there is no studies or there is no evidence that uh, they are effective in the treatment, you know. Uh, now the complications of the AD14 uh, are related to the severity of respiratory tract infections. Uh, majority of the patients uh, have no complications but hospitalized patients uh, and uh, people with the weak immune system may have mild to um, uh, serious complications uh, which are related to the organ system most damages you know like eye, GI tract, bladder and the most uh, notably lung problems such as uh, ARDs that may lead to death you know. So these are the common complications. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information, you can visit our website www.diseaseandtreatment.com and please do not forget to subscribe to this channel for more informative videos every day.